Hey, my name is Brian Searle with Insider Perks, and today we are continuing our series discussing the coronavirus as well as marketing your campground during these uncertain times and preparing to market your campground after these uncertain times are over. And so if you have a question related to coronavirus and marketing, please send me an email to brian, B-R-I-A-N, at insiderperks.com, and I will do my best to get it answered for you in one of these short videos as quickly as possible. Today's question comes from several different campground owners who are basically asking the same thing. My campground is not open yet. I open in the middle of April, I open at the end of April, I open in the middle of May, regardless of the opening date. I don't know what's going to be happening at that time. And so what do I do for my marketing? It's a valid question. The answer is, is number one, don't change anything you're already doing. If you're planning to make website updates, continue to do that. If you're already posting on social media, continue to do that. If you're already sending email blasts, continue to do that. If you're already running Google ad campaigns, continue to do that. You kind of get where I'm going with this, right? This could all be behind us by the time you open your doors. And so if that's the case, you don't want to shut off your regular recurring revenue streams that are coming in from the different marketing channels that you're already putting forth out there. Second, over-communicate. Behavior has changed. Whether this is over tomorrow or next week or two months from now or whenever it's in the rearview mirror, consumer behavior has changed. They are going to be more cognizant of your cancellation policies. They're going to be more cognizant of how and how often you clean your, your facilities at your campground and the cabins and things like that. And so there's nothing wrong with, even though you're uncertain about what you're going to have to do or what you want to adjust, there's nothing wrong with sharing what you already have out there. So share your existing cancellation policy, even if it was from last year and you're not making any changes. Share your existing cleaning policy from last year. How often you cleaned your cabins, how you cleaned your cabins, how often you cleaned your laundry room and your restrooms and your store. All these things are going to make people feel more safe, more comfortable with both keeping their existing reservations as well as continuing to make new ones as we move forward through this uncertain time. And so oversharing, just making sure people feel comfortable, right? As you get closer to your opening date, you're gonna have more clarity. So continue to follow the CDC guidelines, continue to follow your local health department, what they're saying, your local politicians as far as what your orders are and what, you, what is essential versus non-essential, and continue to communicate that. As you get closer, maybe you now want to adjust your cancellation policy and in the efforts to allow people to reschedule the different dates without a cancellation fee. Or maybe you want to waive your cancellation fee for April and May, but not for August and September. Either way, make sure you're communicating to the people who have existing reservations, oversharing, oversharing, oversharing. People are more comfortable. It just creates a better relationship between you and your camper, both during this situation and long after it when they remember how they were treated by your business as well. So overshare. And then as again, as we get closer to that opening date, you're gonna have more clarity as far as what amenities you either want to keep open or you're allowed to keep open. Communicating that, what's closed, what's open, what am I doing differently for the things that remain open? Are my activities still going off as scheduled? Do I have different activities that I'm allowing my guests to do? Maybe I can't allow gatherings at the pavilion for dance parties, but maybe I can have an activities kit that I'm delivering to the guest in their RV that their kids can do together. So what is changing? All this is gonna help again. The, the goal, the singular one goal for you is to make your guests feel safe and secure, understand that camping is still a great option uh, as they continue to work through these times and that you have their health and safety at the top of your mind and you will continue to do so because that's going to help people again. I keep hammering it home and I say it again and again, but it's all about making sure people feel safe and secure because that's going to prevent them from making cancellations and it's going to continue to help them make bookings far in advance so that you can continue to have a financially stable situation at your campground.